Ah, I love my horsey. Hmm. Yeah, I can try to ride it. Oh, man. Can't ride it because I'm not a normal Wago. I'm a friend Wago. I hate the friend Wago. That's exactly my point. Oh, oh, hey, Boba Fett. Uh, what are you doing here? I was just petting my sweet horse. I didn't say that, but you're not like a normal Lego like the rest of us. Honestly, I really wish I had a normal Lego, but I don't know where's that. But we're not gonna waste some time looking for it because Nick and Pleasant gotta eat in a little bit at 12. Anyway, um, anyway, what do you want, Boba Fett? Um, oh, 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 oh yeah, oh, let me, let me guess. Are you good? Are you gonna complain about your shows not doing well like you always do? Well, yes. I can't believe they still hide it. <laughs> But anyway, but anyway, uh, what do we, uh, what did the real reason you want? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll be heading to Preston's story time. Oh, it's story time? What is that? You'll see, Elsa. Anyway, gotta go. Alright, let's put my horse to bed. Come on, horsey. Nah, it's okay. Anyway, let's pack me sup up and get ready to go. And I'll begin when the hatch slinging slant forgives to work at the crusty crap of a fry cook like SpongeBob, only clumsier. Then one night, he cut while he was cutting the patties. He cut off his hand from a steak and replaced it with a rusty spatula. And then got hit by a bus. And at the funeral, they fired him. And now, every Tuesday night, his ghost returns the Krusty Krab to wreak his horrible vengeance. <laughs> Bowie! What do you know, William? That's not even scary, and second of all, that is not based on the true story. That is honestly one of the most laziest storytelling I have ever heard by a human. Like you can do better than me, Squalium! Oh yeah, I can tell that one story one time. I was in a Halloween movie, and it was a Michael Myers. He was killing me with a nice kitchen knife. Yawn! Oh, come on, have you not even seen a bunch of Halloween movies? It's a bunch of Halloween movies are much better than all the all of you stupid storytelling. Shut up! Ow! And I mean, well, I know one story that was made by Washington Irving. <gasps> Washington Irving? Hey, uh, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, does he die? Well, he did make one novel. It's called The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Ooh, oh boy, I cannot wait. I hope it's way better than what's in my ex-wife. Oh boy, I cannot stand her. Anyway, a long time ago, a school teacher named Ichabod Crane was returning home from a party hosted by by Baltus Van Tassel, the father of Katrina Van Tassel. Ichabod was... So nervous about going into the hollow, for he had heard scary stories about it. And one story he heard of would return to haunt his neglection. As Ichabod trotted nervously for the forest, he heard what sounded like hooves trotting. The trotting got louder and louder, and then to his shock came the biggest shock of all. The headless horseman himself. <laughs> Ichabod was so terrified that he fled it as fast as he could as the horseman chased after him in pursuit. As Ichabod began to panic even more, he saw the sleepy hollow break. And as he he soon trotted across the bridge. The headless horseman was not going to let him off that easily. So he swung his pumpkin head straight at Ichabod. As Gumpowder heard his horse that he borrowed, trotted away in a flat. 
The next morning, Ichabod's hat was found, and on the road beside it was a shattered pumpkin head. But there was no trace of Ichabod's brain. So just beware, when you're heading home through the forest, beware, the horsemen will always be there waiting. Wow, that is a much better story than the Squidward stupid storytelling. You say that one more time, William, and I'll rip your legs off like Dark. Maul lost his legs in Phantom Menace. You got that, Squirrel? Yeah. Yes, I got it. Wink, wink. Aside from Squidward's tantrum with William, what you all think of my Headless Horseman story? Honestly, I think that story is a bit, uh, honestly, it's way better than that Johnny Depp sweeping hollow because that is honestly one of the most disturbing and grotesque movie ever next to the Green Inferno. Oh yeah, can I tell a story about the Green Inferno? How many times I have to tell you, do not tell a story about the awful movie? Oh, uh, did I do that with the video called Meet Rapunzel? Yeah, you know what? Let's get out of here because we, uh, honestly, we gotta be careful with the sweepy hollows. Let's go. Honestly, you wanna watch the Disney version or you watch that? Or honestly, you wanna watch that God of Food version? I wanna watch the the Disney version. That's much better. Wow, that story is awesome. The story is creepy. Can I have a puppy review stuff? Why do you have to be here? <gasps> oh, Puppet Mew stuff. Hello, my name is Jafan. No one cares what your name is. <laughs> Ow! Keep my name out of your mouth. Okay, was that a Will Smith reference? Pee pee. Uh, this is why I hate you, Jeffy. Oh, well, I can't believe. Puppet Review stuff really hates Jeffy. Anyway, I'll be heading home too. Hopefully my wife doesn't annoy my crap on me. So Catwoman, what do you want to do for a fun time? I don't know. How about we can go see that, go see that movie called Instagram. I have no idea what the movie is, but sure, we can go see it. Everyone, get out of here. I'm going to go hop in my gym bar car. I'm gonna send Squirtle to the Big Fine News while I'm walking the building. Go see the Squidward movie. Ah oh, man, what a fun time. Anyway, I'm just gonna go, uh, honestly, I'm just gonna see what Max Mayfield's doing, which is my best friend. Hope it's nothing happened to me. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a pumpkin head. 